Hello everyone, I am Vishal from Tamil Nadu Agriculture University here presenting on the topic Grain Fit Farming in Economics. Introduction Grain Fit Farming is a type of farming that relies on rainfall for water. It provides much of the food consuming by the poor communities in developing countries. Example, rain fed agriculture accounts more than 95% of farmland in sub Sahara of Africa and 90% in Latin America and 75% in Near East and North Africa and 65% in East Asia and 60% in South Asia. There is a strong correlation between poverty, hunger and water stress in part because of dependence on uh, rain fed agriculture in developing economy. Benefits Increase the fertility of the land, rain fed agriculture has controlled of diseases and infection. Reduces the bad results of good harvest caused by the disintegration and provides the surface on the earth and which vital measure of water of expansion of food. Demerits Water storage, moisture stress and drought, uh, soil erosion and soil crusting and compacting uh, and uh, nutrition depletion, low fertilizer use deficiency and imbalanced fertilizer use, deforestation and weed infestation and uh, the one of the most uh, m- most biggest disadvantage in rain fed farming is uh, it's mostly depend on r- rainfall. The farmers are dependent on the rainfall for agriculture if it is a day where rainfall is not gonna be there then farmers will be totally disappointed the product what they were grown will be in a great loss and it will be a great situation that they will be pushed towards the depth and the fund from the bank side or private banks they will not be provided and the depth should be the farmer should be paying its debt from his yield um, um, and uh, soil erosion is one of the most dangerous thing in rain fed farming because if there is no rain soil will not be having its regular RH which means relative humidity and there will be cracking or crevices in the soil if it continues that soil will not be used for agriculture and it will be a wasteland it will be affecting farmer and his farmers family and it will also affects the yield and the total amount of yield from that land will be affected and soon country will be also affected country will be also affected because if every farmer faces the same type of problem and they will be definitely they will be leaving for agriculture and rain fed farming they will be going to some other jobs if they go to some other jobs economical economy of agriculture will be reduced the food produced will be reduced and we can't able to serve everyone in India the conclusion of rain fed farming is rain fed farming consists of 80% of the world cropland and produces more than 60% of the world's yield gains. Generally, live food in rural areas while producing food in forest cities. In temperate regions, while reliable rainfall and good soil rain fed, rain fed agriculture generates a high yield. Instead of doing rain fed agriculture, they can change the method of doing agriculture. For example, they can use drip irrigation, sprinkler irrigation, which helps to save water as well as irrigate the whole land with a small amount of water. This can help the farmers to increase the yield as well as the less manure can be used. In this way, if, if farmers for practices and we can easily gain uh, easy, easily gain more profit in Indian economy and the world economy. We can able to... Here we come to the facts of Indian economy. The rain fed farming plays an important role in Indian economy covering 68% of the total zone area was spread to over 177. The 177 represent here is 177 districts in India. Most probably 90% it's near 90% of Indian economy is 
related to agriculture and agriculture specifically rain fed farming is most probably used used in india and this, this is a traditional method of agriculture we should the government of india should take some measures to develop these type of traditional farming which helps the farmers to get developed and they can face their problem by their own uh, they can solve by giving loans to the farmers who's following traditional farming like rain fed farming and helps to teach them some of the techniques and technologies to them in order to fa- in order to practice agriculture in a modern way which which helps india and indian peoples and indian economy to grow and we can also be the top most exporters of every agriculture products if we follow this type of ideas in in, in rain fed farming thank you thank you for everything please to like share subscribe to uh, our channel thank you